Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This video is, I think, number 16 in the series on how to work in series. And I will put a link below in the description box for the playlist for that. But uh, my name is Lisbeth and uh, I'm a mixed media artist and I like to work in many kind of medias and in teach and teach too. Um, when I do my papers and collages, I always work with colors, perhaps not the brightest colors, like for instance, pink or purple, but my palette is more muted most of the time. So it got me thinking, why not try to do some collages in neutral colors? Most of the time I know exactly what I want to do, but once in a while I just want to sit down and work without any big plans and let my hands create. So that's why I have this, and I don't know if it can be here in the frame, but I can make it maybe do this, yeah. Uh, I have this big sketchbook um, it is 27 by 35 centimeters and the papers isn't the best quality but that doesn't matter because it's just a place where I play and it is dedicated for my grid collages so today I will make a collage grid in neutral colors. Each square will be eight centimeters by eight centimeters. Uh, and I can show you uh, an example here. These ones are five by five centimeters. And I think there is a video in the series where I show you how to do this. these. But uh, let's find a blank page here. So we will be doing them here. Um, yeah, I will just remove it for a little while. I have been digging in my piles of jelly printed and mark make papers. And I have pulled these papers out. Um, there are probably too many papers here, will some of you think, and I probably won't be using them all, but um, at least I have something to choose between. So that is the plan for today, so let us begin. As you can see, I have already drawn some of the squares, and uh, I have a little piece of cardboard here I have cut out in 8 by 8 centimeters and all I do is to trace around it like this I don't measure between uh, between the, the squares here I just eyeball it because this is only for my own amusement so that's the tracing I have some different book pages and I have some this is packing paper and packing paper and uh, I also have a lot of old book pages where I have done it mark making on with some different tools I think this is my I don't know what it's called in English when this long Pointy finger, perhaps. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, and then I have a little thing with gold on. And you can always also take a packing paper like this. This is brown packing paper, and this is another kind of packing paper. Yeah. And then I have taken my Posca pins and Drawn marks on them. That's a very easy way to to get marks. 
And then, let me see here, I also have a, a little pile of all kinds of different leftovers. So, I will just take a look at my papers and decide what to do. I have this little piece here and I think it would be nice, look nice, something like that. And then I take my small ruler because then I can measure it. But it's not that precise, but something like that. And then, because these are rounds, I think it could be nice with some, uh, they look like bricks and so perhaps some lines. So let me see here. I'll take a small part of this and again. I will measure here. Rip it off here. And I would do tone edges on the inside of the square, but the outside of the sides of the square, I will let them be the straight edges. instead my glue stick and give it a good amount of glue. Don't be precious with your glue stick. And I will try to be inside the... Yeah. And I have decided to try to use this tool here, a catalyst, catalyst which to get my papers more smooth down. I normally have used an old cloth or something, but now I think I will try to do this instead and see if that makes any difference. this perhaps that is a little more interesting to make it put it this way and I won't put it exactly in the middle but I th think I would like it here in I 
this was the first layer in the first square. I have chosen a piece of this paper and I will put it in the bottom on this square and again I will take my ruler and cut this off and here is my long paper. square and then I have taken a black piece a little black sliver not much but I don't want these to be too dark but on the other hand there uh, has to be some kind of contrast to make them exciting to see it This here, oh, yes. one of my, my long red hairs. <laughs> works quite fine the only thing is you can easily smear if it's dirty or there's glue sitting so that is perhaps not so good but it takes some practice perhaps I think and then the last layer here some Bronze paper of some sort. And again. Yeah, I think that is a nice one too. Here yeah, I used a piece of this paper. I think it is a craft paper of some, of some sort, and I have perhaps cleaned my jelly plate or I have cleaned my brushes with it. And this is a some gift wrap paper and uh, I think I would put this dot down here yeah like this yeah that was the third yeah, I want to finish this square here and I have already put some three other papers down and I think this looks nice here so I will do that down yeah. and I don't mind if you can see some of the the lines here so then I have the last one here and I have this coffee dyed papers paper and some old book and this paper again is where I clean my jelly print or the plate or perhaps my brushes and I think that looks nice so I will have to start to glue the one in the top so I can lay the next one over so you can see the time edges yeah. when I have text on my uh, some old book pages I I always turn them upside down so it is not so easy to read this here is in Danish, so I don't think it's a problem with anybody reading that, but that's just my opinion. If it is in Chinese or Japanese, you, you 
I don't know what what it says, but I think it, I like the the fonts or the the, the writing. So uh, you never know it if you are advertising for something <laughs> or what it is. But uh, that's the risk. I think this one is a little pale, perhaps. So I think. I will know that one, this one here, I will put a, a little black piece here. So now they have got a, a base layer. Some of them perhaps could need a little more, but um, you can see I like to have some of the papers different places, at least two other places. So there this paper and this is this paper. You have a black one here and a black one here. Uh, but. Elsa, yeah, this one and this one is the same, and this one and this one is the same, and that is, in my opinion, what makes it a, a series. There are a certain cohesion between the eight squares. It is much different to work in this uh, limited color palette than it is to work in other color color palettes. I think. But I will take a further look at them and see if they need something more. As you can see, they are all nearly done. But to give it a further look of cohesion, I have taken this bronze paper and pulled some snippets of it. And then I will glue them to each collage. So. I'll just do that to see how it looks. isn't so easy when it's such a small thing here. And also it is, I think it is parchment paper or daily paper, so it crumbles a little. These two small domino shapes here. Now I'll put them there. And this long peak here. here and the last one here no 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 I think I put it there and this one has it up here yeah, I think this one needs something going that way. But what can it be? What can it be? Yeah, perhaps not. But I think this is the way 
these are going to be. I will take some close-ups uh, at the end of the video. I think this is a great way to just play or you can do it as small composition challenges. As we all know, practice is the only way to get better. And if it is funny at the same time, what's not to like? I hope you find this video useful and inspiring, even though there isn't any color in this video. I certainly have been challenged and I think I will leave all the papers on my table and try to do another page, but in another measurement. Please like or consider subscribing if you like my channel. It would be very much appreciated. Take care, be creative, until next time. Bye bye.